Dimension organizes your work into projects, which include the location of the drawing files, takeoff measurements, and project variable values. After viewing this lesson, you'll understand what Dimension projects are, and you'll know how to create one on your own. So what are Dimension projects? Dimension projects include a pointer to the electronic drawing set stored somewhere on your computer or your network. Dimension never alters the drawings themselves. It simply displays them so that you can create measurements on top of them. The project includes information such as the folder location of the drawings, the bid date, and any default coding. Dimension associates the project with the drawing file location and it can check that folder for new or revised drawings later. As estimators work on the plans, takeoff quantities are generated and stored as part of the project. The Dimension database holds all of the project components. In a standalone installation, this database is on your local computer. If you work with a team of estimators in a client-server environment, the database is on the Dimension server on your network. Dimension recognizes any of these file types as drawing files. When you include files of these types in a project, the drawings are listed in the Dimension window. So let's get started with the project. The sample training project is included with the Dimension installation. It's provided as a TPX zip file, so it includes the project drawings, project information, and sample takeoff measurements. The La Quinta export TPX zip file is placed in the default project folder location when you install. If you didn't change this location, it will be in C, Program Data, eTakeoff Projects, eTakeoff Samples. You can restore the sample project by simply double-clicking the file. This opens the Project Properties window, which we'll look at in more detail in a moment. I want to create a project from scratch, so I'll click Cancel here. Just a quick note here. The activity handout that's included in this subscription gives you step-by-step -step instructions for restoring the sample project. When you look at the course window in Sage University, the activities are in the Resources section. Before I can create a new project from scratch, I need to know the location of my drawing files. Now I'm working in a standalone system, so my files are in this folder here. If I were working in a client-server environment, this would be a network location. Before I can create a new project from scratch, I need to place my drawing files in the correct location. When you install Dimension, the system creates a default project folder where it stores all project drawings. The quickest way to find that location is from the Home tab by clicking New. The default folder is shown in the window, so let's make a note of that location. I'm going to switch to Windows Explorer so I can place my files in that folder. I've just downloaded the La Quinta plans, so I'll double check that everything looks correct. Looks good. So now I'll bring up another window and browse to my default project location. I'll drag the drawings folder to the default folder, and now I'm ready to proceed with the project. Couple of things to note here. The name of the folder that holds the drawings will be the default name of the project when you create it. You can always change the project name, but for consistency, it's nice to have the names match. So think about your folder naming conventions. Also, once you create the project, don't use Windows Explorer to move the drawings elsewhere. This will break the link to the Dimension project. There is a way to move the files within Dimension if you need to, and we'll cover that in a later lesson. On the Home tab, I'll click New and select the La Quinta folder. Now notice that the folder you select can contain subfolders, so you can keep the drawings organized as they are and click OK. This opens the Project Properties window, 
which we saw earlier when we started to restore from the backup. The Windows folder name is used as the project description by default, but you can change it. Changing the name does not change the Windows folder name. It just changes the description in the Dimension project. This window lets you record general project information, such as the customer, location, bid date, and so on. You can also select a default drawing scale here. We'll talk about drawing scales in an upcoming lesson, so I'll leave none selected for now. You can configure the project to create automatic backups, automatically scan for drawings, and other options. Remember, you can always press F1 to find complete explanations of each option in Help. We do recommend that you leave Scan for Drawings selected. This will let you review the list of drawings in the next step. We'll talk about extension and WBS defaults when we cover those topics in later videos. I'm finished configuring the project for now, so I'll click OK. Now I have the opportunity to add drawings to the project. By default, all files that use a supported file type are selected in the project folder and any subfolders. You can clear the checkbox for any folder or file you don't want to include. If you're a general contractor, you'll typically leave all files selected. If you're a trade contractor, you might select only the files related to your specialty, but sometimes it's nice to have the other files available for reference. To select all of the files in a particular folder at once, click the folder, and you can click the folder again to clear the selection. Once you've made your selections, click Add. And now the new project opens in Dimension. In the next lesson, we'll take a closer look at the Dimension window. Now you should understand how to create Dimension projects. Before you move on to the next lesson, take some time to complete the activity, which walks you through restoring the La Quinta Hotel training project. Thanks for viewing this Anytime Learning video.